Welcome back to On The Record, I'm Dylan McCurcher. On August 21st, Sunshine Cinema 8 reopened for movie-going audiences after being shut down on March 17th due to the coronavirus pandemic. After having its doors closed for over five months, I had the opportunity to speak to General Manager of Sunshine Cinema 8, Jacob Herzig, about their reopening during the pandemic. For our particular location, uh, business has been rather slow starting out, but the only thing I have to compare that to is how things were before the pandemic. I did not expect us to get you know, a huge crowd our opening day or even our first week. At the time when we closed, I, I wasn't too concerned. I thought this would, just like everybody thought, all business sectors, that it was gonna be short term. As the months dragged on, I realized, you know, this could be an issue. It's, it's actually serious. And we're just, you know, it's, I kind of have a little doubt that um, people want to come out, not just to movie theaters, but just go about, you know, go about their regular business like they were before. The Longwood community is one of Sunshine's biggest markets. Will Johnson, a junior here at Longwood University, stated that going to the cinema is a great place to go with your friends, as he went to Sunshine's last semester to see 1917. However, we'd like to see some safety requirements be put in place before feeling safe enough to return to the theaters. Spraying down each seat after the movie and making sure that where people were sitting are clean and uh, you know proper cleaning measures for all of their uh, concessions and areas around it as well as the ticket booth. Herzig is in fact accomplishing Johnson's hopes at his theater. Sunchase has invested in a hospital grade disinfectant spray as well as a mission on how to keep the parameters safe and clean. We are required to sanitize every shared surface after use, whether it's a customer employee or uh, even if it hasn't been used, um, every two hours. And we're using a hospital grade uh, disinfectant called Botanicline. It's, it's proven to neutralize the SARS-CoV-2 virus. There are sanitizing stations located throughout the theater, one in front of every auditorium, there's two in the lobby. So pretty much no matter where you're at, unless you're inside of an auditorium, there are uh, sanitizing stations to use. Herzog continues going over additional safety precautions being put in place, including some for the staff, which Herzog states that Sunchase rehired roughly 50% of its workers from before the shutdown. They're still actually going through training. Um, you know, the ones that have been here, of course, have seen most of everything. It's mandatory hand washing every 20 minutes almost. We do have a uh, daily screening questionnaire uh, dealing with COVID-19, and it actually needs to be signed and dated by each employee when they come into work before they actually start working. Uh, they basically confirm that they are not currently suffering from any symptoms dealing with COVID-19. Longwood University film professor Chris McGee loves the theater experience, including getting concessions but we'd like to see some social distancing rules enforced. You'd have to regulate the rows and you'd have to just limit the number of people who can come into a theater. I think as long as you do that, it's reasonably safe. Herzig stated that with social distancing applied in the individual auditoriums, a max of about 30% capacity can happen due to customers being spread out by at least three seats between guests in a different party with a maximum of five people sitting together in the same group. He additionally stated that Sunch Chase employees will be having check-ins in each auditorium every 15 minutes during showtimes to make sure that social distancing rules are being enforced. Uh, we, we, we don't allow anyone to enter the building without a mask. We do offer masks to anyone that don't own one. People will purchase beverages, uh, food. Of course they can remove their mask while they're consuming beverages and food. It's encouraged to put the mask back on once they're finished. Herzig states that it's pretty normal to have to wear a mask nowadays, and that's basically a part of the uniform. And he doesn't expect many issues at his theater and welcomes all who feel comfortable enough to venture out to come to Sanchez Cinema. If you do plan to venture out to catch Christopher Nolan's new action blockbuster Tenet or any of the classics that Sanchez Cinema 8 are showcasing this semester, make sure to wear your mask, space out, and enjoy the show. Showtimes can be found on their website at wwwsanchezcinema 8com For Rotunda Studios, I'm Dylan McCurcher and that was On The Record.